वेलकम टू सुब्रमण्य आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू टुडे अबाउट सम ऑफ माय रिच फ्रेंड्स एंड रिच क्लाइंट्स सम एंड यू कैन गेट सम ऑफ देयर कॉमन ट्रेड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मोस्ट ऑफ दिस पीपल हुम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नो बडी हैड टू पे एनी थिंग टू देर पेरेंट्स देर पेरेंट्स वेर देम सेल्स वेल ऑफ दे टॉट देम अबाउट मनी एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो लार्जली येस दिस जनरेशन ऑफ पीपल दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल मे बी इन देयर इवन इन देयर सिक्सटीज एंड सेवेंटीज डिड नॉट हैव टू सपोर्ट देयर ओन पेरेंट्स विच वॉज नॉट ट्रू फॉर पीपल मे बी टूडे इफ दे वेर अलाइव दे वुड बी मे बी हंड्रेड वन से माई अर्ली वन जनरेशन अर्लियर टू मी विच मीन्स समबडी लाइक माई पेरेंट्स एंड ऑल Uh, that generation supported their parents right so they their parents had maybe 8 9 children 10 children whatever and so they were uh, physically also not very responsible so uh, so they they had to support whereas this group did not have to support did they inherit some of them will some of them have inherited it's not that but the inheritance is a small portion compared to their wealth right so somebody says oh he inherited 1 crore that's fine but if his ctc is 1 crore then he has just inherited one year ctc it's not a very big amount i'm not saying i'm not denying the role of that but yes he is not in inheritance is not a very big portion of these people's wealth so what are the things that i have i see them doing one they have been taught finance at home this is a very important thing they have been taught so much about finance that even at a young age they knew that they have to save they have to invest etc they had heard these words right they all had ppf accounts well they were in school they had savings bank accounts well they were in school that uh, ppf account was bulging by the time they were 25 26 or 25 26 years of age right so the parents had inculcated uh, these thing qualities in them many of them many of them did odd jobs right through college right when the minute they were in college they would do some work for some charitable organization some club collecting members collecting uh, the dues from members all those things right so all those something they would do and earn money and that money was going towards investing or uh, spending on themselves whatever maybe it was part subsidizing what they were doing because parents were anyway paying for the uh, major stuff so right so some of these things so they have all uh, most of them have been early starters they would have all started by the, uh, earning some money by the time they are 16 or 17 right that's quite a quite a early start uh, and therefore a lot of money went into savings of course if they have a ppf account when they were 2 years old or 3 years old it is the parents who had done it for them so yes they that is common second i have found that they can delay gratification they can look at a car and say i want this but i will not buy it unless i have 75% down payment or 80% down payment in fact there's one guy who says the best car is the one which you can afford by paying cash it's a good way of looking at it right so he says other than buying an asset which will give him something in return so if he buys a house to give on rent he does not mind borrowing will he borrow to buy a wasting asset like a car the answer is no he'll say he says he will buy only a car which he can sign a check and buy not one which he takes a loan not taking a loan is a great virtue in the sense it allow it means you know how to delay the gratification because today there is a urge say everybody is saying oh uh, don't worry do you want to buy that uh, shirt pant uh, what uh, the uh, guide the ticket to a match every for everything loans are available and i'm not exaggerating loans are available for you to buy dresses a uh, lot of uh, maid servants etc do it they buy expensive uh, sarees uh, on installment yes people do it but here i'm talking about people who knew how to delay the gratification so time delaying of gratification is not easy so they can do it and the, when they start investing they learn about investment it is not that subra says so they should put money in equity even if they do that they'll start reading up then they will buy some share they will make mistakes they will learn they will sit at anybody's feet to sit and learn so learning investments which is something with all these people have done so can they manage their own money yes do they have an ifa in most cases yes because they understand what has to be done they also know that they won't do it left to themselves right so therefore to make sure somebody calls up and says uh, this ipo is coming this nfo is coming this rights issue is coming you have to apply and things like that right so many of them most of them in fact have advisors but yeah they can do it themselves if they want if they have the 
time. Right now they have neither the time nor the inclination to do it that way. Uh, they understand all those terms of asset allocation, why equity, why not equity, risk, volatility, most of them understand all this or they say, no, no, if you tell me that I have to put in money here, I will put in money here, you know my risk profile, right? So, completely uh, willing to depend on friends' uh, cap capabilities rather than their own capabilities. So, sometimes that also happens but largely they at least understand the logic of what you are doing. Many of them give a lot of money as charity. In fact, uh, one of these uh, kids is pretty young. Uh, whenever we are standing in a group and talking, he would uh, come and he would buy two, three packets of biscuits. And lo and behold, all the stray dogs would be there, right? And he would be throwing biscuits at them. He can sit and uh, do that for hours. He can feed the crows, he can feed the hen, he can feed the dogs. He just does it as a hobby. So there are girls who say, you first finish feeding and then we will come because all the dogs in that locality know him, right? So, charitable giving need not just be by giving checks but also can be by small time efforts like feeding the dogs, etc. Some people do it. You may or may not like it but that's a different thing. Uh, most of them like to manage their own destiny. They could be employed in good companies. Maybe they are CFO, CEO kind of positions but uh, they are willing to say, okay, uh, the best way to earn money, best way to increase your net worth is to create your own business and get it listed. So, you get a P of say 30. So, for every rupee that you earn, otherwise you would have owned that whole 1 rupee. Now, for that every rupee that you earn, uh, the market is valuing your skills at 30 times that, right? The EPS is say 30 times. So, and your whatever is your EPS that gets multiplied by 30, right? So, that is one thing which happens. They realize that to create wealth, they have to manage their own destiny, do your own business, list your company and do that. Uh, does everybody uh, do it? Is everybody capable of doing it? The answer is no. But those who are creating wealth for themselves know that that is the good route to take. Of course, some could be professionals, could be doctors, could be chartered accountants who don't have any such option. But yes, no, none of them ever deny saying, oh, money is not important. What is the use of increasing income? No, they, are, they know that by increasing their income and by doing a more aggressive SIP, they can prepone or uh, get their uh, retirement even earlier without batting an eyelid. Thank you.